It is the first day phones at Fall River schools are locked up and put away for middle and high school students. Some critics don't like the new policy. NBC 10's Katie Benoit is live at Durfee High School and spoke with the superintendent about the big change. Hey, Katie. Hey Barb, everyday students will line up here outside and put their phones in a pouch that locks and then they'll take it with them. The idea is to try to create fewer distractions in the classroom. There you go, perfect. It's a different day at Durfee High School. Students will no longer be able to text and make calls during the school day. I think they understand that it's going to be a benefit. We knew that from the survey information to begin with that most kids said yeah, um, I think that the phone is a detriment to my learning. The students at 6 through 12 schools in Fall River will take their pouch to and from school each day and lock up their phone using this technology each morning. We've got a system to be able to monitor that kids are putting all of their devices in the pouch. Some say they agree. Phones impact learning. I think that is going to help the kids focus um, on what they need to get done in school. The school committee passed the policy. It took longer than expected to implement and also has gotten some pushback. Concerns growing over school shootings across the country. I just prefer they have them. If there's an emergency or if she's sick or something, you know, she can get a hold of them. What do you say to parents who have concerns about safety and their child not having access to their phone? When we think about those tier three situations, we've discussed this mm -hmm. at length and truthfully, we believe that cell phones would impede our ability to safely respond in a situation as such. We need our kids to be able to respond to our teachers. Teachers. Students will unlock their phones on the way home, much like on their way in. A station will be available until 7 in case anyone forgets. We want to make sure that at, at the end of the day, when they should have access to their phones, their personal belongings, it's a quick and easy transition. School leaders say a plan is also in place for bad weather. The district is also working with families to give students medical exemptions to the policy when needed. Live in Fall River, Katie Benoit, NBC 10 News.